good afternoon, good evening. Ciao, come state? <laughs> How are you guys doing? Thank you for your love and support. Without you guys, I wouldn't have been here today. Today, I want to share something with you. I just feel like talking to you guys. Maybe it will be of help to someone out there. So I want to talk on marriage. Marrying someone who does not come from your own country. Marrying someone who does not speak English and has their own language when the two of you meet each other way of communication. Okay, let me take a live in Italy as an example. So I'll advise my fellow people Africans like me who has the intention to get married to an Italian person and has the intention to move in into to move to Italy to stay what we need to know about the Italians I believe it goes to other countries also where they don't speak English also where they have their own way of living their own way of doing things if you want to marry an italian person one thing things you should know about them you need to learn the language girl <laughs> now you must you must is a must it's not something you said i don't like the language i don't want to even i don't want to speak it all those no because that is the only way you can communicate that is the only way you can go along with your husband people friends family because they don't speak english some speak few of them but those the ones that does not understand english are more than the one that understand english so our advice if you are still in your country maybe i come from nigeria you're seeing nigeria i believe that with the technology we have today you can learn the language online there are online courses you can learn and you learn just to have the base a foundation something that is when you come in you can be able to not to be cut off not to be feel put aside because when you don't speak the language all you can do is just <laughs> You, they will be seeing your teeth. You will just be showing your teeth because that is all you can do. <laughs> so, but by the time you learn the, the language, you have foundation already. When you, when you enter the country, when you meet your husband people, you will be able to say, Ciao, come stay. You will be able to even go ahead and talk. Even if it's not perfect, but at least something you'll be able to say. Another thing we should know also is with their upbringing. The Italian system is very different from our own. Big, 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 big different. The family upbringing, big, big different. The Italians believe that if they give birth to children, it's their responsibility to help these children even when they are an adult, even when they have their own family, they still take the, they still do the believe that it's their responsibility to even assist them economically, even if the children are working also. Why on the other way, the African parents believe? I know it's not all African parents. Those that have the money that are economically balanced they don't depend on their children in Africa. But those that, don't, that do not have the money, they believe that as they struggle to raise us up, to take care of us, when we are economically stable, when we, we become an adult, we have a job, is our responsibility to now be taking care of them. It not turned around that 
at the beginning they were the one taking care of us now it's our responsibility i don't say it's all africa parents so no those that does not have that is how it is but those that have it they don't depend on their children why in the Italian system they have it or they don't have it some people say have, they depend on their pension and inside that pension they, they will still squeeze out something for their children also and another thing I will still advise us by the time we learn the language and that is why I, I, I said we need to learn the language when you come here You'll be able to enter the system, you'll be able to look for a job, be working and have your own money. You know, we like money, we women like money and and we have our own. Since you come from a country where, uh, from a background where you know that you are going to assist. You come from a family, let's put it like this, you come from a family where you know that you are going to assist your parents. So like this. All the responsibility will not just fall on your man like this you will still have your own self respect because there, there are some there are some that are natural naturally gifted to have the spirit of understanding they will say yes they are like this even if they did not move out of the country they did not call your country they will just just all that you tell them from there, they will not they will understand your own way of believing. There are some that come to your country and see the situation and say, yes, they are like this. They do it. She comes from a family where they where she needs to assist the family also. There are some that it's not wickedness just because they don't they are not able to look over, to look to to be open-minded to see all that way of thinking they just believe in their own way of thinking so if you jump somebody like that that believe in his own way of thinking things will be difficult because he will not be able to understand why his parents that has the same that are hold like chaos they see assist him as a child why should it be you assisting your own parents like that you people start having problem issue with your marriage but when you are working when you are able to have your uh, hands your own money at the end of the month i believe you will be able to do you will still be able to use money your own use the money some part of the money the way you want or so and yeah, another thing is that things are 50-50, don't 50-50. Yeah, marriage is 50-50. It's not only the responsibility of the man, it's not only the responsibility of the woman, everything is not 50-50. There, there are some men that does not want their wife to work. They will say, okay, you stay at home. Take the responsibility of the home. Taking care of the children, cooking, Cleaning, all those things is your response. You do that. Me at the end of the month, I'll make sure uh, the money to run the house. I'll bring it. There are some that do it like that. There are some some that the ladies don't said they don't want to be a full time housewife. But shout out to those women that are full time housewife. It's not easy. <laughs> So if the woman work, the man work, so they share the responsibility, the ass work also. Maybe I'm good in this one, you are good in that one, so you'll be under this one, I'll be under this one. Those that have money, they look for somebody that will come, maybe will be helping them do the cleaning, do the ironing, like that. That is how it is, yeah, 50-50. So even marriage, you will say, when you are about to get married, your parents bring some parts of the expenses for the marriage might bring some so we add it together to, to run the marriage and we and the couples they also still bring that is how the italians do it also do their own also so it's not just like africa where most of the responsibility of the marriage money to be spent most part of it fall on demand if i'm not mistaken so another thing i want to say is the food aspect of it 
you know as two different country we have two different way of cooking we the africa we like food that has spices and with a lot of pepper why the italians no they don't their food are not as it are not as spices and they don't eat pepper some eat but what if i say some it is not that pepper the way we eat it so our advice i know it's not easy we should learn to eat their food and teach our partner how to eat our own our own food also i always refer to myself with my husband i teach my husband how to eat pepper see when i met him he said he, he eat pepper okay well i know he eat pepper <laughs> not the way I, w- I was eating pepper. So the first time I invited him to my house, I cook rice and steel. So I put a very little pepper on it. The thing, when me, I test it, I was not, I said I did not put the pepper. But when he, when he tested the food, he said, oh, the pepper, it was too much of pepper inside. I said, I did not put anything on. So an, an African person, if I put this one on the table, I said I put pepper. That one, the person would just look at me and say, "What? What are you saying? There's no pepper here." So g- gradually, I keep on increasing the quantity of pepper. So I was doing this thing not only for myself. I was also doing it so that if the relationship eh, end up to marriage, and I know that I have black friends also. I have family also. I don't want everybody to have issue whenever we are going to visit anybody. The problem of ha, Rita and her husband are coming today. Am I going to prepare food for them? The, the husband does not eat pepper. What am I going to prepare? How am I going to do this one? Oh, the husband does not eat our food. Which food am I going to prepare? me myself i don't know i don't like italian food a lot i don't cook italian food which food am i going to do how am i going to prepare the food so for us for me not to face problem for not, not to put other people to be passing this stress so i taught my husband uh, how to eat pepper how to eat our food so that if we go i want us if we go anywhere you cook whatever you want we will join you and eat your food you put that in the food suit i like them <laughs> i'm so lucky he's the curious life also he likes testing even if at the end of the day he does not like it but at least he said i tested it and i don't like it and that was how i taught him but today now i'm happy Whenever we go hard, people are always happy to have him around, and I don't have problem eating their food. Also, me myself, little by little, I learned to eat their food and to cook them also. So like this, your your, your husband will not be. So the relationship will not be. Oh, whenever you cook your food, you and your husband will be fighting, quarreling at home because he does not like the smell of that food or uh, he cook you don't eat because you don't like their food no so that is why i said you teach him how to eat your you learn how to eat his own like that like this the two of you will be able to go along well but that does not mean that you will not quarrel you still quarrel that is life that is a relationship nothing is perfect nobody is perfect just as you are not perfect don't expect others to be perfect but you start from yourself so for now i don't and there's no other thing that i want to share but if there's anything you guys want me to talk about you should leave it at the comment section below and if it's something i'll be able to give my own because i will be using myself as an example in the aspect of marrying a foreign person if anything you people want me to talk please leave it at the comment section below and if it's something i can be of a help i will surely address this talk about it we will talk about it together so anything you want to ask me i said leave it at the comment section so share this uh, 
this video with your friends and loved ones and maybe somebody to be of help to somebody so i want to say for those that have subscribed to my channel i thank you for being there for me for your love and support and for still coming back those that are new my new subscribers thank you i appreciate you and those that have not yet to subscribe yet subscribe i know you will surely do it so i'll see thank you god bless you so please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video and put on as you subscribe also put on your notification button on put it on so that whenever i uploaded a video you will be the first to be notified thank you guys i love you god bless you oh bye bye thank a hey, ciao ciao Grazie tutti, before I forget. <laughs> At least I will still greet my Italian family also. Grazie a voi tutti per il vostro sostegno, il vostro amore. Se sei di voi, sarò qua dove sono oggi. Allora, a quelli che hanno già scritto, vi ringrazio. Quelli che sono nuovi, i miei nuovi iscritti, grazie anche quelli che devono ancora scrivere vi ringrazio perché lo so che un giorno lo farete grazie che dio vi benedica quando scrivete ricordati di accendere quel campanello così ogni volta che, che metto un video nuovo sarete avvisato anche non dimenticare di metti mi piace su quel il bottone di mi piace e che lascia sotto e i commenti qualsiasi cosa che volete che io parlo su un rapporto con un con due persone che si sposano che vengono da due eh, paesi diversi da uno e l'altra allora i problemi che di solito affronteremo che affrontiamo nei nostri rapporti però una cosa è sicuro nessun rapporto è perfetto Ognuno di noi abbiamo i nostri alti e bassi nella vita. Grazie, che Dio vi benedica.